Hey there guys, this is Teach here, or TJ, pick your poison. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. But if you are back from any of the previous videos and you're here watching this one with me again, thank you. Today's reaction is going to be Dreamcatcher, Odd Eye. It is just going to be the music video. There was dystopia version dance, just a regular dance video, then a live, then a music video version. It's just, there's a specific one. <laughs> that I should choose, let me know. For now, it's just gonna be the music video. We've done Boca and Scream, and Odd Eye should be the last one in the trio. So, we're gonna go ahead and dive into that. Without further ado, let's get to it. Aesthetic, always on point. Alright, this is going to be a very gentle one, isn't it? They're starting off with the sweet melodic voices. Very soft tone. Love it. All right. What a nice flow. What was it, Johnny? Alright, we're going back. I love how she came in right th with that. Alright. <laughs> With covering reality. Oh my gosh. I just had a crazy idea. I'll tell you guys afterwards. Alright, they are going crazy with these vocals right now. This is super vibey. And as usual, absolutely love the scenery and the effects they put into the video. I feel like I feel like they have the most unique music videos out of any group that I have seen so far. So that title definitely goes to Dreamcatcher. Oh, 
Wait, what did I say? Let's go back. In the end, the dream catchers couldn't find the utopia, what they dreamed of. Uh, this goes along with the whole see no evil that I've read in the comments. Usually like the, the picking apart, you know, you can give your input and your experience to try and connect with it, but so far the, throughout uh, Boca and Scream, the meaning has been so much more deep and detailed than I expected. <laughs> so <laughs> hit me in the comments. Anyway, that was Dreamcatcher Odd Eye, the music video. If you liked it, give it a, a thumbs up. Help me out in the comments, please. And if you feel like you want to join me on my journey, go ahead and subscribe. Now, the crazy thought that I had uh, during the video that I said I'll bring up later, which is now, was so I, though it's not like out and ready for you guys to listen to, I do make music. I have a whole list on my phone of music I have made, songs. And I think it's like a good eight, eight to 10 right now of just fan songs that I've made. So the way I show my appreciation is to make tracks like, let's say I really like Dreamcatcher. I'll make an original tribute to Dreamcatcher or whatnot, or I'll cover one of their songs and add my own little twist to it, my own sound. But uh, yeah, I just had a thought that I could make a really cool cover of this. Obviously add my own twists. I'd like some screaming and whatnot since, you know, my forte is unclean vocals. So I think that would really make it a, a tad bit heavier. I don't know, I, I just thought that that was cool. I mean, I'm gonna do it anyway. As I just said earlier, you know, they're all on my phone. So I just keep them for myself. <laughs> if you guys wanna hear it when it's uh, when it's done, it might take a long while, but uh, I mean, I don't mind posting it here in the drinks dream catcher section but uh yeah super cool video love the vocals i'm curious about the, the depths to the meaning of this video as well because now the other two were way more than i expected <laughs> way more than i expected and i also love the little details uh the timestamps being left behind in the comments then i go back and watch the video with whatever you guys said in mind and I'm like, oh my gosh, like it really opens my eyes. And now I see the song and it, it hits me in a lot different. But yeah, anyway, that's gonna be all for this reaction. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.